The Beginner's Bible. Deborah Leads the Way, Judges, Chapter 4. The Israelites lived in the Promised Land for many years, but they forgot about God. A bad king from another land ruled over them. The Israelites asked God for help. God sent them a judge named Deborah. She loved God very much. God gave her a plan to defeat the bad king. She sent for a man named Barak and told him, God wants you to take 10,000 soldiers and wait on the hill. The Israelites were not as strong as their enemies. Barak begged Deborah to go with them. She was a strong leader. She agreed. When the Israelites met face to face with the king's army, Deborah exclaimed, Go, attack them now. God is with us. The Israelites obeyed and won the battle. Gideon's Battle, Judges, chapters 6 through 7. God's people kept disobeying his rules, so God allowed their enemies to take all their food away. Again, the Israelites turned to God for help. Again, God answered their prayers. God chose a man named Gideon to help his people. God sent an angel to Gideon. You are a mighty warrior, said the angel. You will save God's people. Gideon said, But I'm from a family that isn't rich or important. Then Gideon prayed to God. I need a sign from you. I will put some wool on the floor. Tomorrow, if the wool is wet and the ground is dry, I will believe you. The next morning, the wool was wet and the ground was dry. But Gideon wanted another sign. He said to God, now, if the wool is dry and the ground is wet, I will be sure you have chosen me. The next morning, God made the wool dry and the ground wet. Now Gideon was sure. He said, God, I will do whatever you say. Over 30,000 men wanted to join Gideon's army. That is too many, God said. He showed Gideon how to win with only 300 men. The plan sounded strange, but Gideon trusted God. During the night, Gideon and his men surrounded the enemy camp. They blew trumpets and smashed clay jars. They waved burning torches in the air. Their enemies were frightened. This must be a huge army, they thought. So they ran away. God's people won. Samson, Judges, chapters 13 and 16. The Israelites were in trouble again. Along came a very strong man named Samson. God had chosen him to save the Israelites from their enemies, the Philistines. Samson knew that as long as he did not cut his hair, he would always be very strong. Samson was in love with Delilah. The Philistines told Delilah they would pay her if she found out what made Samson so strong. At first, Samson lied to her. If you tie me up with ropes, Samson said, I will lose my strength. That night, while Samson slept, Delilah tied him up. Then she shouted, The Philistines are coming. Samson jumped up and broke the ropes. Delilah kissed him and asked, Won't you tell me your secret? Samson gave in and told her, My strength is in my long hair. When Samson was asleep, Delilah had all his hair cut off. Samson's strength was gone. The Philistines grabbed him and put him in jail. A while later, the Philistines were having a big party. They brought Samson in and made fun of him. <laughs> Samson prayed to God to make him strong one last time. God did. 
Samson pushed the pillars with all his might. The temple came crashing down, and Samson defeated the Philistines.